All right, pump stacks. So pump stacks are used when you need to bring a liquid from a low level to a high level. For example, if you have a pool of water down here and you want to bring it up to the surface or dump it down your stairwell for a nice misty waterfall effect, then you'd use a pump stack to get it up to this higher elevation and then bring it to where you want it to go. Or maybe you want some magma underneath your forge so you can have a magma forge. Then you can have a pump, sp pump stack bringing it up from the magma pools way down below or maybe a volcano tube and uh, pump it over here and uh, we'll use a pump stack for that as well. So this tutorial is end-to-end -end how to use QuickFort's pump stack blueprints to achieve your pump stack dreams. Here we have an aquifer, uh, light aquifer tap blueprint that I've already dug out, and this is all filled with 7-7 water, two levels of it. And we will be pumping this up to the surface as a nice, easy demo. So step one, bring up Quick Fort. The hotkey is Control shift q or you can do it from the, uh, from the logo menu here. And that brings up the Quick Fort interface and shows the blueprints that you have, example, uh, have available. Type in pump stack and it shows you the pump stack blueprints. There is a complete walkthrough right here in the help, but we'll be going through this visually so you can look at that on your own time. And so step one, we'll be choosing the dig blueprint. Here, it's going to be digging out the standard layout for a, a pump stack, which is one level pumping to the north and then another level directly above it pumping to the south. We'll go down to where our water is, line it up to where it will pump from. That, the one little uh, notch coming out is where the, it's going to pump to the bottom. So line that up and go up one level. Hit capital L right here to lock the blueprint in position. That way it won't follow the cursor as we move things around. And then you can go up through the levels to make sure that it's going to where, going through where you want it to go. For example, if this were pumping up magma, then uh, we want to make sure that it threads its way through the pillars of the caverns and doesn't intersect any open space. Otherwise, the, the water or magma will just spill out as you're trying to pump it up. Here, we want it to extend past the surface so we have to go beyond the standard two. Make sure you're repeating up for this. P pump stacks go up. And we will add in another level here. So now we'll go up to the surface. If we wanted to, we could transform this thing around and uh, you know, thread it through tricky cavern um, shapes if we need to, but we don't need to for this one, so we won't do any transformation. Go back down here and hit enter to apply. All right, now we have our digging all laid out. Note that eventually we're gonna need channels for the actual water to come through the levels, but for right now it's all flat so that we can address any stone that's left behind here. At the very bottom level of the blueprint, um, we have up downstairs, we have downstairs throughout the entire thing. But at the very bottom level, we don't need an up downstairs. Let's just erase that and draw back in, we'll turn damp and warm dig on, uh, draw back in just a regular downstair at the bottom, because if this goes through to the layer underneath, say this is you know bringing things up from the magma sea, you don't want any extra holes going down there because magma crabs can crawl right up and into your fort through your stairwell. So get rid of the up downstair, replace it with a regular downstair. And we will hit go and let our miners run over and do their thing. Here it comes. Dig, dig. <laughs> and he's vomiting. New in this version of uh, of DF is the return of uh, cave, cave adaption. So when they return to the surface, they might puke. All right, everything is now dug out. Um, like I said before, if this were through stone layers, there might be a bunch of stone left behind. You want to clear that out because that will be in the way of the pumps. And nice trails of puke going everywhere. Now we will bring up Quick Fort again, Control Shift Q, and load up our channel blueprint. Go back down to our bottom level here. And our repeat and transform settings are still saved from our previous instance, so that should be the same. 
click to channel. The, the channels at the tops and the bottoms are for bringing water up from the low air below, and these channels uh, closer to the center are for transmitting power. In the end, we're going to be powering our top level pump, pump right here, and the power will be transmitted down these center channels through the stack to power each successive pump underneath. But again, on the bottom one, we don't want an extra channel here because there is no pump underneath here to power. And let's let our miners go and dig that out. And we've channeled this layer, this layer, and now that one as well. And we're all prepared. Bring up Quick Fort one last time to the build blueprint. This is going to actually build the pumps, but before I click, we're going to generate the, the orders. Let me uh, preview them first. So this is what it will take to build our pump stack for the number of levels that we have designated. And if we actually generate it, then there it is. They are now going to be in the orders screen. And we'll click right here to set our pumps in place. There they are. Um, every repetition of the pump stack blueprint is two levels. So we have one, two, three, and then we have an extra layer up here, which we're not using. It laid a pump there anyway. Let's get rid of that one. And if you look back at our orders, now here at the bottom we have the orders it's going to take to build this thing. Let's uh, sort, get those up to the top. So while we are building that, let's think about how we're going to power this thing. So this was going to be pumping north, south, and north. So we should connect some power right here. Let us build a couple windmills just around here. We do not need this many, just for a show. And while that is going on, let us build some uh, gears and get everything hooked together. Gears are plenty. assembly here right next to the screw pump so that if we want to actually not be pumping water we have that choice. Thank you Eurist Mamoos. Don't forget to link them and maybe even name them. components being built. Let me jump down here. Where is my... It's you. Yes, building my pipe section and my corkscrew. And some beds, just because. Jump back up here. You see this is already turning. And our mechanisms have... or my, our lever has been linked. Let's pull that to uh, disengage it. We don't want it to be pumping as soon as we build it. We want to have that choice on our own. And now this is turned off. And these are going to be linked up as the components get manufactured. There we have our first screw pump, ready to pump from our nice pool of water up one level. This one will get us the next step of the way. There we go. And for short pump stacks, you can even 
pump them manually and just do it through dwarf power. You don't need to power them if you have enough dwarves to run all of your pumps just by hand power, then that is a perfectly viable way to do things, especially if you don't need the pump to be running continuously. All right, and our last pump, almost ready. And there we go. Pull the lever and let us bask in its pumpy glory. There we go. That is our pump stack. Normally you'd have some sort of controlled method of uh, channeling this water to where you want it to go. We're just letting it spill everywhere. But this is also a viable way to uh, have fun with a pump stack. Each layer down here is pulling from the layer below it, and this bottom layer is pulling from the pool. There you have it, a pump stack. I hope this was useful, and I'll see you in the next one.